This is some Shawshank Redemption shit right here. This is cool. We're gonna start fresh. I've got a new lease of of life on this game, and I'm really addicted. Um, but more importantly, uh, I uploaded my previous run. I edited it down, and we uploaded it to YouTube. And a lot of people came back with some comments, like some tips, and, and maybe you should try this. Man, I wish you'd really learn to parry, etc., etc. Well, I know how to parry, I just don't do it. It's not a mental thing in my head yet. Also, don't really use the bag all that much, which I really should. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to get better. Um, and I think I've got a different strategy in terms of how to progress. That's something I've been lacking, right? It's like, oh, we died. We lose a bunch of equipment. Nothing was sent back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, so completely fresh character. We're gonna start it over, um, and we'll see how we go. I don't know. I don't know. This could be. Uh, this could be a disaster, but I have a feeling it's going to be a lot better. And uh, we're not going to stack int at all. I think that's a, a big mistake. Also, <laughs> that's uh, that's not a loaf of bread. Uh, I'm just going to leave that at that. So, okay. Uh, pair of shoes, no pants, obviously. Uh, let's check the speed on this. I've heard that early on, um, speed can be very, very important, so... I don't hate it. Uh, one thing I do need to remember is definitely the sack attack. Uh, it can be very, very vital, very useful in, uh, in times of combat separating enemies and and actually and we're going to be also parrying as many attacks as we can as well uh it's a little bit of a slower form of play but probably going to help us out quite a lot all right now we have a sword as well wow it is a very weak sword although fast i think i'll stick with this medium weapon let's check this one as well real quick It's actually not that much slower, is it? Significantly more damage, so let's stick with that instead. Ah, great. Looks like a combat room, which once we enter will probably lock us in. That's it. Hit him in the head. Block those shots. If we can a bit weird when they attack from an angle or, or a height like that. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, we will be stacking strength as well. Like I said, we're not going to be... Uh... Not going to be stacking int anymore. Yeah, okay, this is the complete opposite of what I was talking about before. I do have to get used to parrying. Very important. Uh, you cannot parry magical spells, so it's always best to avoid those. For some reason, I didn't have my weapon equipped. Damn. Uh, what I should have done there, and it's, it's very difficult because my brain doesn't work that quickly, but I should have used my bag and, and hit them into the spikes. I saw someone today uh, almost clear out an entire room just by doing that. All they did was knock things into spikes and they seem to be almost magnetic to certain enemies. Like they just, I don't know, they just head straight towards them. It's kind of cool to see. So 1v1. Should be okay. Come on, big guy. So in here we've got a chest, uh, which has probably some rare items in it. 
And then also a, a crate, which is kind of good. Got greedy there. Oh yeah, give me the stuff. Need that, need that. Uh, somebody also mentioned something about the grape juice. Don't drink that because it has other uses. Maybe uh, like topping up ones, maybe something like that. Not sure exactly. Good. We get a shirt. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Farmers. How do you even pronounce that word? Kuras? I don't even know. Um, requires five intelligence. God damn it. The one stat that I didn't want to actually put anything into. Melee crit, ranged knockback. Eh, don't need it. Intelligence plus one. Well, that's something. Uh, hey buddy, I'm, I'm right here. There you go. You did it, big fella. So it's, this is good damage. I, I seem to still... I'm going to have to double check this, but I seem to still be taking damage even when I block. Is that, uh, is that a thing? Am I just getting it wrong, maybe? Very possible. All right, we've been in there. Oh, this sucks. I'm like right in the corner. Getting hit by two guys, three guys at once. No big deal. Give me that invulnerability potion. Oh yeah, stone skin, baby. Pyromancer. That might be interesting to deal with. We'll check that out in just a sec. So this is the beta version as well. Um... I'm still getting stuck on the most rudimentary terrain, like walking up these stairs specifically. It's like I get caught on that very edge of something every time. Face. There we go. Got to knock him back with that, that old trusty bag. Uh, I would like to definitely rebind my keys. I think that would be a, an option that the developer could do with adding to the game. Because uh, I'd like to rebind, much like Noita, rebind my kick to um, the mouse button. I think that'd be super good. I'd use it a lot more. Now, what is this one? This one's invulnerability, I think. Should have probably used that too. I've taken more damage again. Yeah, that's still doing damage to me. I don't know why. Do I keep the one int or increase my melee crit? Uh, is that damage or percent chance? I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Okay, so we've got six to eight here. Five to eight on this one. This one has more charges. That's fine. I use that. Give him the old wackaroo. Ah, uh, don't eat these spiders, by the way. They will poison you. There's some cooked spiders that you can eat. We haven't seen them yet. The money I automatically pick up. That's fine. We'll wait for this gate. Maybe you have to block their hands precisely. Maybe that's why I'm still taking a tiny bit of damage every time. It does seem that way, huh? Should still be using my bag. Easier said than done. It's like my brain completely forgets about it. Okay, so there's no store until level 2. I think that's uh, a set thing happens every single time. Fortunately, we can eat whatever we like here. Give me that. Grub. Another one down here. Delicious. I say again, imagine what it would be like to just scarf down a huge amount of food like this. You'd be like, 
This is disgusting. What am I doing with my life? Uh, this stuff is rotten, by the way. You can't eat that. Oh, wow. This room is kind of packed. Wow. Okay. Good. Worst case scenario. Excellent. Love to see it. Well timed. Need that. It's fine. We're going to stack strength entirely, I think. There's no reason to go, at the moment at least, until we get some equipment that we need to uh, put on that we can't yet. Yeah, we're going to stack strength. I think that is the smart move here. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Definitely more health. And for that, I am very thankful. And now we can lock in a spell. Pyromancer enables impact fireballs. All fire damage has a 19% chance to set your target on fire. 19% chance to set something on fire sounds pretty good. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, this guy we have to actually knock into the spikes. See how we go. Yeah, that was easy. Uh, shoulders, we've got footwear. I think we need to wear what looks the best. Currently leading the pack with those uh, beige boots. Oh, I like the wraps though. I think we're going to stick with them. Uh, we'll wear the red shoulders, of course. Blue ones can go away. I don't know what's worth more here. Uh, we might as well open the key that requires the... Uh, sorry, the door that requires the key. Two swords over here. Seven to ten very fast. Seven to ten fast as well. Oh no, there's definitely there's definitely pants in the game. You just have to find them. Boom. Base. The door is jammed, but there's a chest in there. Okay, now I'm intrigued. This is new to me because previously... These rooms were inaccessible. I'm oh, sorry, they were accessible, but uh, they had nothing in them. Wow, more stuff to pick up. What do we got? Leg armor. Look at that. We finally have chat. You wanted it. It's here. We have pants. I don't know, man. You give me a shiny chest, I'm kind of all over it. Want to get in there. Um, this is... This hits really hard. Uh, we can't use it right now. We need a little bit of dexterity. So we can get that on the next level. I'll hang on to that. Um, I'll hang on to the helmet. And the green shoes, if they're still here. Scream secret wall, right? But I don't think that exists in this game. Like there are there are secrets, but usually they're button controlled. Not um, you can't just access them. Unfortunately, it says jammed. Jammed is a very specific word. All right, we are hitting very hard, which is the good news. We done? Oh yeah. That was good. Max HP plus 1.5. Like literally 1.5? So we have 142.39 out of 146.05. These numbers are very precise. 5 in. We're not going to be able to wear that for a while, I don't think. It was behind the poster. Seven to ten. Take the money. Money's very important. So there was a poster in the other room. Interesting. Oh. 
I wonder if on the other side of this... Look at that! Okay. Hell yeah! This is some Shawshank Redemption shit right here. This is cool. Uh, yep, just let me out, please. Thank you. Oh, we get our hat back. Uh, this is all actually pretty crap. Gloves, though. Gloves we'll take. We've got five defense on our shoulders. Sturdy fists is the blood moon. Gloves requires five int melee crit. I wish I could wear that hat. Oh, I definitely can. All right, so we'll get rid of that. Can't wear that yet. Oh, yes. Yeah, I heard a rumor that the uh, the little grape juice is, is you use it to refill like magic or something. Not sure. Wow, you are a little bit tougher. That wind-up attack he did, you cannot actually block. Even if you uh, even if you see it coming, you can't block it. All right, we'll do another lap, but I think we're good to go. All in all, realistically, not a bad floor. A couple of pots down there we could still break. There's a mole rat directly outside here. Luckily, we've got health. Yeah, already they're so much stronger on the next floor. Oh, and we got these freaking things. Gotta hate these. So these guys, uh, these little moths, they spit blood at you. Royal pain. They do a ton of damage. All right, skulls. So these guys will hopefully see me and then charge at me. Here we go. I'm not entering the room because the room will lock me in there and then I'll be, I'll kind of be defenseless. And with that turret in there, I kind of want to take my time. I'll just, I'll just wait. I'll wait these guys out. I could be potentially shooting them with my wand as well. However, that doesn't pull every enemy. These guys get hit and then they go back to their patrol. Very nice. Lucky last. Where are you? Cool beans. So we can still go in. There's probably more enemies in there, but... No. Oh, we might be good. There will be a little power conduit. Oh, it's right here. There is a moth up there. Okay, got to be careful of him. Make sure he's not shooting me. We can disable that altogether and that stops the, the little turrets from shooting. Maybe they realize that moths can fly into areas where they're inaccessible. And as such, they let you, uh, they don't lock you in. There we go. Oh, both coming at me. There we go. Alright, getting the hang of it slowly. All right, and we do need to find a shop ASAP. Whoa! Okay. Uh, how's the game? It's very enjoyable. I like it a lot. It's quirky. It's weird. It's a it's a mix of genres. Um, it's not perfect. It's definitely got its fair share of problems, but for a one-man team, I'm very impressed. There's a spider in there. Oh, 
Puh. Very nice. Four attribute points. And... Beggar's Fingers. Okay. Do we get a skill point this time? Doesn't look like it. Next level we probably will then. So what did I want to put on? Five decks to use this. Three points. That'll let me use that, which is a hell of a lot more damage. And my final point requires five int. So at the moment we have three. Does that include the one from... Yes, it does. Okay. Could I have actually gotten to five intelligence? I might have been able to, actually. That would have given me both of these. Oh, well. Next time. Yeah, we should be doing tons more damage now. Are they explosive barrels on the ground in front of him? Maybe. Okay, that was good. Are you just going to walk off the end there? Okay, good. Oh my god. Scared the hell out of me, dude. Seriously. You're doing massive damage to me too. Invulnerability potion, I will take it. Did we get everybody? I think we did. Enchantment, dexterity plus two. Uh, is that a permanent upgrade? That'd be pretty cool if it was. No, it goes on a weapon, I assume. Okay. And Okay, so that's a permanent upgrade. Interesting. <laughs> An extra two decks for free. Love it. Still need those couple of points of int. Probably just one. Oh, that's a pit that will kill me. Uh, and falling into a hole will end your run instantly. There's no coming back from that. Hundred and three experience just for killing a moth. Pretty good. Mm. Oh, stuck in the sticky stuff. So this is a silver key room, maybe. Once again, I'm stuck on money plus two. Is there a silver key in here? This is a very unusual room. Why did it lock me in if there was only three... Three little bugs in here? It The first thing it reminded me of was Ultima Underworld, though. God, I love that game so much. And we have a shop. Lovely. I need to sell weapons, but thank you for asking. Eight gold. Seven gold! For ones. It's actually something to remember right there. Ranged crit, melee crit. Oh, another thing I should be doing. Right, I completely forgot. Saving like a secondary set of uh, equipment that we can send back to our level one selves. Uh, it would be very smart to do that. 52 to 67 damage with thorns on it. 8% of all melee damage taken is dealt to the attacker. I want to learn that as quickly as I can. I should heal, definitely. Dead. Dropped what looks like a permanent upgrade as well. Dexterity plus two. No reason not to drink that because I think it stays with you forever. I think. Let's eat the grubs because we need them. I keep tipping over the grape juice. Yeah, rumor has it the grape juice has another use. I'm not sure exactly what it is, though. Okay, so we're going through... There's the silver key, interestingly. That's coming up. 
So we might have a difficult room ahead of us. Shrewd grip of levity. This is a component uh, that will let us build, hopefully, something decent at the blacksmith. Oh, we got a spider. Yeah, we are hitting like a truck right now, and it is awesome. Where am I? We're going up that way. I go that way. Let's grab the silver key first. Maybe it's an easy get. I don't know. Got a mole in there. Wow, we do a ton of damage. It's amazing. So this is bad. This little blue guy right here, he... There's someone trapped in a cage. If we can pull the mole out. Alright, so we just lost the wand. Just straight up tip the guy over. Very good. I could rush in there. Oh, there's another guy here as well. I have another wand. Sold it all, didn't I? Damn it. Okay. I gotta take this guy out. We know that for next time if we ever see one of these guys again. Take them out first. They are priority. Okay, we're good. We can get upstairs here. I think. So we'll try doing that as well. Silver key somewhere here. Up there. What is this open? Definitely not stairs up, that's for sure. Is this guy still alive? Nope. Uh, what do we want to send back? Let me send... That, that. Kind of want to keep these. Give me one of these to send back. Fine. Components, I guess. Alright. So what that chute does, that's connected to the first floor. Uh, that's where we came from, essentially. So when we start over, when we eventually die, uh, we get that equipment back. I think I can heal here. If it wants to give me anything that I can heal with, that'd be nice. Yeah, this is good. Getting back some essentials here, as well as a little bit of health. Very nice. Lovely. Uh, we also got... Was that a medium? No, it was a, just a standard one. Right, I don't even have a... I uh, don't even have a wand right now. Hmm. And I think that's it from here. We got the key, right? Pretty short. Definitely did. So we can technically leave right now, but I don't think that's a good idea. Let's do a full clear. Yeah, the map is very confusing. I think that's one of the weakest points of the game. Turret. 
Got another map. Amazing. Use that on the next floor. Have a magical guy up there. He already sees me. Fantastic. How do I get up here safely, I wonder? Is there a way to disable this thing? Not here. Maybe in the corner? Ah. Damn. It's extremely dangerous. Got him. Warrior's Chain requires 4 int, 5 dex. Gives me melee crit plus 1%. Again, I'm not sure if that refers to damage or chance, but... I don't think I'll be using it anyway. I'd rather s stat upgrades, although I'm probably looking at that wrong. I did see uh, how to turn off the turret as well. It's over here. I should stop blocking stuff with my face, that is for sure. There, mace knockback on boots. 74 bucks for that. Dex plus two, an extra 10 HP. Mm, not worth spending on. Get the health instead. Yeah, I'll use one right now. There's the silver, silver gate. All right, onwards. Does the game have good replayability? Uh, this is my second or third character now. I like it. Um, the great thing about it is that uh, 